how much of public engagement and the operators themselves doing to bring this to the fore, so that Nigerians have a proper sense of understanding that the issue is not solely with number of portability, that voting does not necessarily address your issue. Your issue also resides with your representatives. I really like to know, because I never knew uh, up to this point, what the basic advantage of uh, number, number number portability is. Has the quality of service really improved with MNP? And you told us that it has improved. If it has, can you tell us the, at what percentage that it has improved? Those were some of the concerns raised by stakeholders in the Nigerian Information and Communication Technology sector at the Second Quarter Industry Forum, organized recently in Lagos by ICT Publishers Alliance, with the team MNP, The Journey So Far, Realities, Challenges and Potentials. What we have tried to do in this forum is to look into um, what challenges, what um, uh, challenges subscribers are facing for now, or even those who are involved in um, in uh, effecting the porting scheme, uh, if there are initial challenges that can be uh, looked into and uh, removed out of the way so that the porting experience can be total, efficient and effective and benefit all, benefit all stakeholders. Early this year, the Nigerian Communication Commission launched the Mobile Number Portability Initiative as part of its efforts to deepen competition and force operators to provide better service to their customers. Represented at events by Odeyemi Ogo, the Executive Vice Chairman NCC Eugene Jua stressed that the Commission is committed to creating more awareness to guide Nigerians on the MNP processes. In anything in life, all right, if people are not aware of how to go about what they have to do, certainly there will be a lot of challenges, all right? And that is why the Nigeria Communications Commission has made sure that we've put in a lot of effort at creating the required awareness for people to understand exactly what the mobile number portability is all about, how they can go about doing it. Because if you get that, once that is gotten very right, then a lot of, the, a lot of issues that would have cropped up actually addressed in a very proactive manner because of course enlightenment without gain saying gives you the power to be able to not do the wrong things on the success recorded so far in the mobile number portability initiative uche Omudiwe of interconnect clearing house maintain that subscribers now have the opportunity to migrate from one network to another well the success that we'll say is that people are actually porting people are actually using the process and that's one of our key um, indicators of whether we're doing a good job or not. Um, once the subscriber has the opportunity to change from one network to another, then we know that we're succeeding. And once we're able to do it in the timely manner and within the parameters that we've set, then we know that our process is working. Basically, uh, the, the exercise so far has been encouraging. We are seeing numbers increasing on a week-by-week -week basis, certainly. Now, from that perspective, yes, it's very it's encouraging what we're seeing. However, if the numerous challenges like poor power supply, multiple taxation, and a host of others are adequately addressed, the 119 million active subscribers in the country will enjoy better quality of service, and porting from one network to the other will now become a team of choice.